Um, everyone, my name is Richard Spitt. I'm the project manager for Unison's um, Lifelong Learning Education Wheels, and we're funded by. The Just to explain a bit about that to begin with, so we don't pop off for the trade union. We are um, part of Unison's trade union-led Lifelong Learning and online learning, general digital literacy, which is an area we're moving further and further into. As I said, but we're not as trade union education, which is formal training for activists so that they can carry out their trade union roles. We do have some influence on this, and obviously, I'm sure we've got some uh, unison reps in the in the audience. But um, workers, we're also not about training workers to do their jobs. That's for users and employers to do. But we do work in partnership to make training uh, in the workplace work better. So. Today I'm here to speak to you about why we love Mozilla Open Badges. So, has anyone here heard of Open Badges as a technology? One, two, three. So the vast majority of people are not aware of them. Okay, that's, that's a good market for me. So what Mozilla Open Badges are, are a way of capturing formal and informal learning in a way that is citizen owned creates a portable lifelong learning record for individuals which capture both their qualifications and their soft skills. It can link learning, skills and employment really neatly and recognises people's progression. It's built on an open and collaborative ethos and clear design principles. And I think that's really important. We just heard about the importance of design for engaging people and Mozilla's open badges are built on these principles of design. You can learn more about them by um, and the website openbadges.org um, where you can actually earn your first badge. Welcome back to that. But really, what are they? What are open badges? My accent might be confusing you. I mean badges. We mean these. Essentially. Does anyone here who's forget? Kind of thing. You'd be used to we'll know the concept of earning a badge to recognise a skill or achievement and then collecting and displaying that badge. And that badge representing something more than just a pretty picture. It has a book that you can go to, probably a website now that you can go to and, and look up what that badge means, what you had to do to um, achieve it, how it fits in with a, a network of other badges. Well, Mozilla Open Badges take that idea and take it online. So, open badges are here um, to help people to capture their job training, online learning, skills and experiences they learn in volunteering programs, and for the individual learner to collect badges that represent those skills and achievements um, themselves and display them, store them, and display them via badge back, back brownies, sash, or as these. Badges through the backpack and then be designed. So that might be on their blog, it might be through the channel, it might be through Twitter. You can even publish them on your LinkedIn, I'll show you that in a minute. And what hopefully this does is, is lead to more job opportunities, a record of lifelong learning, which I think is possibly the most exciting. For them. And through the Digital Champions Network uh, and my, my quick start, and there's also issues with the, the badge network for housing. I then took that badge, which was issued to me, and I downloaded it. It was downloaded onto my computer, you see, the arrow of the two and three there, there as well. I then chose what I did that badge. That beneath that picture, beneath that PNG file, dot PNG file, is metadata. And that metadata gives an awful lot of more information than you would either get from a sticker or a badge, or even from a, a paper certificate and shows who issued it and evidence that that issue of organisation, a trusted organisation through a, 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 a hyperlink to the website and it gives a description of what the badge is for, the criteria needed to earn it, the evidence that proves that I did the learning and needed to earn it, Information about when it was issued, but also very interestingly issue information about when that badge expires, when that knowledge is no longer current. 
um, which is, a, is certainly a step on from simplification. I can then take that badge and gather it together in my Mozilla backpack. Here's my uh, screenshot from my Mozilla backpack uh, with a number of my badges there. Within the backpack, you can then create collections. So I've created collections there around digital championing and social learning, which can then be shared externally through the share button to your LinkedIn profile. That's the screenshot from my LinkedIn. And through Twitter. That's the, the tweet that I sent about earning my first um, badge on the Digital Champions Network. So that's how the technology works. Um, how it's used on the Digital United Digital Champions Network is, is really interesting. Right at the minute, right now, the badge in there is controlled by Digital United. Um, all of the courses on the site are badged. Um, the badges are created by Digital Unite and issued via the website, so via the, the learning environment itself, automatically on completion of a course. Digital champions through badging can get recognition for their learning and control over their badges. It might be a way into the, the whole area of open badges for a digital champion. So as organisations, and, I, and, I, and I'm a member of the um, the Digital Champions Network as an organisation, as Digital uh, as Digi Skills Cymru, uh, we can monitor Digital Champions learning through their badging as it progresses and also see the mix of skills um, that exist within our teams of Digital Champions out there through badging. Um, and the staff can use their badges, and this is really crucial, to demonstrate their skills to their managers, to their colleagues and to future employ employers as well. The badges don't belong to the organisation, they don't belong to Digital United, they belong to the learner that they're issued to. And they can display those and use those badges however they want, as long as they're, um, they haven't expired. Um, recently we've made a new iteration of the, the Digital Champions Network, and with a new site, we've brought online new badge designs, which are pretty pictures, certainly, but also carry more data, more on behind them and the criteria is much clearer. And you'll see at the bottom, of each, at, at the start of each course on the Digital Champions Network, information about the badge that you will be working towards as you go through the course. But we're also looking into the future and Digital United have been very clear that they say this is just the start of the um, and I'm just going to run through about six ideas that might spark your future achievement. Just with badging learning, badging online record, and institutionalizing that evidence URL to a much greater extent. Because it's a URL, it can take people to anywhere on the internet. It can take a badge being produced in a web literacy course. It could uh, evidence. And we can take out objects from the physical world and get them online by taking the photograph or scanning. So we can use that evidence URL in badging to a much greater extent. Then what we call taking badging to the nth degree, which is peer-to-peer -peer badging by, by the Digital Champions Network. There are technologies um, associated with badging that can allow an individual to, offer, to issue a badge to recognize somebody else's skills or experience or their input into a project. So where this is actually happening on a day-to-day -day basis is um, a web developer community called Stack Overflow, um, where developers, coders, programmers, um, work on collaborative projects um, online and to recognize the input that each member of the, the project um, gives they issue each other with badges, and those badges build a profile of the skills and experience of the programmers. Google and other big tech companies in Silicon Valley are actually using Stack Overflow and the badging to recruit people, rather than looking for particular um, uh, people with particular degrees, for example. So peer-to-peer -peer badging, I can see, could work via the Digital Champions Network particularly through the forums. So if somebody's answering people's questions, giving great advice on forums, 
we could look at a way of um, allowing people to issue badges to one another. We could look at endorsement from umbrella bodies in the housing sector, in the social services, the social care sector, to add value to those badges. And I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, once an organisation has taken its first steps with open badging through the Digital Champions Network, you might want to look at using badging more widely within your organisation, within your staff development and your training function, um, even within your HR processes, because badging can be a, a fantastic way of tracking the skills within an organisation. And then, hopefully this is something that will come naturally as well, Champions and other staff can use open badging with citizens to motivate their learning. It's actually designed, the technology is designed to be used with marginalised groups in society to, to motivate their learning, to recognise the, the skills that they have that might fall outside of the traditional education system. Um, so the, there are perfect ways for people to get into using badging for those, those means. So, um, I just want to talk briefly about the next big things because it's a new technology, it's, around for, it's been around for two or three years. In this country it's only just starting to get going. In Wales, it's not going to get going at all. Apart from, um, um, but we're working really hard on it as a community around the world. I was at MozFest in, in London the other weekend, Mozilla's global um, managers and allies. The technical aspect um, is something alongside them which is APAC, moving badges in, teaching people how to use the backpack and making the backpack more usable itself. So alongside the lady who did it around the world, we worked on this uh, idea of backpack for the future. Um, some of the ideas being increasing security and having um, ways of rating the value of badges, ways of discovering what other people who are involved in, who've got the same badges of you, as, as you, what, what other badges they've earned and what, what their careers are. So we're working on this at the minute. It's just kicked off in the last week or so, and we should over the next year develop a better backpack, which should make it a more usable technology. Adoption. We have a challenge called Badge the UK. It's run by an organization called Digital Me. Very much focused on, on kids at the moment, on children. I'm trying to push them towards adults. Um, and the more organisations that, that pledge to um, adopt and to use open badges, um, the more reason Digital Me, Mozilla, and Badge the UK have to focus more on the skills and, and, and the use by adults. But crucially is the challenge of value and trust. Finding examples of where open badges are being really thoroughly used and thoroughly adopted as a technology in the technology. So the Scottish Social Services Council um, is using open badges to replace the social care passport. So everyone involved in social care has to go through a standard induction framework. The people in that industry as well also move quite frequently to an old that the services council can bring real value to the technology. And openbadges.org take badges 101 which is um, a short online course where you will learn your first open badge and open a backpack. All you need is a, an email address and it uses Mozilla Persona and online sign-in technology which is nice and secure and not open to government. Um, have a go at designing a badge. And you can do this on a piece of paper. There have been toolkits um, created by JISC, who are the learning technology um, people for the UK. And you can get this by going to bit.ly slash OV toolkit and take you straight to a PDF that you can download and print off. And it's a design, well, toolkit, it's a, it's a, it's a, a canvas for you to capture everything that you might want to put inside a badge. But crucially, it gets you to think both from the, the point of view of the earner, the issuer, but the person who's going to be viewing that 
badge, possibly an employer or a future learning provider, and what information they'll need. So, Dr. Val, as they say in Wales, as we say in Wales, thank you very much. If you've got any questions, you can grab me now. If I've got any minutes at all, I don't know how I'm dealing with time. Um, but you can also tweet at DigiSkills Cymru. I know a few of you in the room, we all already follow each other. Um, and you can contact me here. Um, I have a website, and it's my email. So thank you very much. Does anyone have any questions?